Why is it recording? I'm fucking muted now. High sensitivity. That's good. I actually can't be on the podcast. What the hell is it? wonder if this is better. Okay, that's that's more like it. Ooh. Uh delay my computer has with respect to uh Twitch streams. No. There's like a full thirty seconds delay between uh me talking and Yeah, that's the, that's normal, computer. dude. That's thirty seconds is kinda of yeah. normal actually. That's... Some places are getting like a minute, yeah. minute, two minutes. So it really depends on who, what, what inner, how good you're in in it. I think that might be the issue. But you know, it could be. It is. It is what it is. Let's just move to the U.S. We'll we'll host there from now on. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> uh-huh. Um. Reviewers, I think this is an all time high for us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what's hilarious, funny? I'm, I've, I've never been so. Can't believe I like got went to bed at like, fucking two a.m. Right? Yeah. Pretty normal for me, but for you, that sounds like it's not a thing that happens regularly. I mean, it's it is, but it's like. At the same time, it kind of, like, is what it isn't, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, welcome our dear viewers to our preamble show. <laughs> oh, this is, like, the ten minutes be- between now and when we actually start the show. Where we get to, like, I chill. Think... This is the part where you actually get to chill and chat about things. Yeah. If you guys want to just, like, uh, throw lines up in the chat, that that'd be awesome. I'm sure a couple of them are at least from uh, places that I've linked to or linked us from things. Well, you know well, what? Our main topic today is like Modern Horizons spoilers because, you know, Modern Horizons is like going full ham on the uh, on that. And I promise no politics. 
unless it's talking about birds, because birds are. Okay, but anyway, enough of that cringe for me because that's yeah. Um. Hmm. Mm. Oh. But realistically, this, yeah, no, this is no so ridiculous. There is what's so, ridiculous. There's so much to this. There is. I'm honestly the fact that they put so much effort into uh, releasing three versions of everything is mm. simultaneously frustrating and also inspiring we have a finally we hit the most expensive four for in existence the most expensive four 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 the spoiler has been released today i think 26 yeah today uh near the bottom yeah. Near the bottom. Oh, and a new command. Uh, I see the Zirin orb and the Yuri. Mind you, I'm on a. Yeah, just I'm get on, on the... Mythic spoiler. It's it's already up. Oh, is it? Yeah. On it it, it is just jump on working? jump on Mythic spoiler. It's got today's one. Which I yeah. am not that surprised. Okay, is there an orb? Mythic Explorer. One rise to, yeah. I'm so glad they, uh, they'll front page the most recent spoilers. Mm hmm. Also, Glimpse of Tomorrow. Like, hmm. I don't know. Glimpse of, uh, yeah, Glimpse of. What, really? That's so weird. Yeah, it's that's kind of wild. Okay, at the bottom, most expensive for four. But this is gonna be it's one heck of a set, dude. Like, totally. yeah, man, heaven and dimes for this set. Is... Mm. Oh yeah, sort of tears at home has me hyped for a good reason. <laughs> Wow. I'm not seeing the most wow, expensive four four. Wow, but... wow, wow, wow. This is gonna be wild. Yeah, this is some pretty good stuff here. Uh Drake Keeper. Is it me or are they just going full blown uh heavy handed into squirrels? Well, they're finally making it a thing. Like, I'm not... Yeah. My issue is, is I'm not about... It's not that I'm not about it. It's just like, eh. Okay? It's the deck that everybody's wanted to build. And I'm just, like, shrugging. No, Misha's factory is modern legal now. Well then. I I can't appreciate the fact that people have wanted to do Squirrel Tribe for a while. It's like it's like a uh, Bear Force One. Everybody got so hyped when Bear Force One became a thing. There's a chance to play squirrels in in a storm deck. Oh no! Yeah. Oh yeah. No. That. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, I lo I utilize getting a reprint, but uh, it's just I think it's the old getting a reprint. Yeah, Over I don't. I don't think bear. it. I'm gonna get dunked on. I kind of want to build a squirrels deck, but it feels kind where, of. Where did know. we? Where, we didn't really pick up on this until what the twenty sixth, uh, the twentieth. Yeah. Like that. All right, we have we have a lot to talk about then. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna preface it with I'm kind of ooh wonder they're reprinting wonder. That's really I don't know how I feel about that. Mm. 
It's at the rare slot. I'm not that like. Yeah, it's. I don't think it needs to be a rare. I think an uncommon will be fine. It's not that popular a card. Mm. It's more of a commander card, really. Yeah. But hey, yeah, welcome back. Hey, what? Welcome back. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of sleepy. <laughs> I don't know how much. Kind of dead. I, I just need a pick me up and I'm probably going to order <laughs> skip or something. So I can get to like breakfast or something in me. So damn tired. Uh, I mean, uh, we could probably start late. <clears throat> no, it's, I, I'm good to start on time. Like that's fine, but I just. Re like something or something. Wake me up before we go go. Okay, so we got subtlety. So we could need a new set of elemental incarnations, oh, nice. I guess. Seems like it. It's a place called Holy Girl, and they they have a brunch burger. The hell? Ooh. The grilled yeah, six good. ounce prime rib burger topped with mayo, cheddar, bacon, on granite and tomato, and a sunny side up egg. What, what the hell? That's a steak That's sammy on a fucking burger there, bud. Jesus. Sounds, sounds like. God damn, that's gonna be rich as heck. That's, that that sounds delicious, but it also sounds like you're that asking sounds... for trouble. Yeah, that's what that's I thought. Clothes. I was like, "God damn, dude." Okay, that's definitely like... a clogged toilet. <sighs> damn, that's the second cup in like mahogany place. Need something that's like not that far. Oh, nice. That's your offer. Oh, get out of here. Ah, oh, holy moly. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. I could probably just get something to eat later. We just have the shotgun start it. It's it's okay. Ooh, I hop. Yeah, give me a second. I uh eh, uh eh. I just wanna see if we can get approval to promote the podcast okay. before we start. Bring more people along so they can hear our opinions. I, I won't I won't insult our opinions right out of the gate, but <laughs> Ooh, I hop. Mm. Ooh. Do you have? I'm a businessman doing business. Holy oh, crap. I didn't we think they did breakfast burritos. Like, that's like the last thing I'd think of. Jeez, five? What did we do? <laughs> cool. where, where are you promoting us? That's <laughs> law. Me? I I I I'm not sure this is all me. I don't think this is me. I hope this isn't just me. I mean, I'm not mad about it, you know. Uh, oh no, don't get me wrong. I, I wanna oh, get ahead. the shout out right away, but like thanks for the follow, Valkyrie D. Welcome to the uh welcome to the podcast. Well, today is the podcast. I'm gonna be streaming later. I'm probably gonna stream some Elite Dangerous later, but you know, I think I'm, I think this might be a, a little bit. I, I get to blame um, Commander Emulated Penguin for this one, but for a bit. But I'll I'll go bug him later. It's fine. Ah, uh, they left. Sadness. It's it's we. It's all right. I I honestly at this point I kind of expect our stream to kind of. 
oh. be that kind of what up and down. They're technically not official. Technically not official, what? No, I was looking at it. It says hide unofficial spo spoilers, and it kicked me all the way back to TSR. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You good to go? I'm good to go. All right. Time for the ceremonial clap to start the show thing. Ow. Okay, I just caught that. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Red Phoenix Cast. Uh, name is still being worked off with your hosts, uh, Kevin Ninja Name Bob Ivasiak and Jodo Red Phoenix Cast Variantis. Variantos? Variantis. Oops. Your name fudges me up. T O S. T O S. Like toes. The original but series? Just take the E out of that. Okay, so it's for Barry Angels. Um, now I want a time machine. So, <laughs> we are talking... Go ahead. <laughs> I, I I'm laughing because it's like, this is, I, I talked about this last week, how like I had a whole shtick and everything and kind of screwed it up again, but you know. <laughs> I'm too tired to care. I, I, I'm, I'm too tired to German. care, dude. I'm really too tired to care. No, no, that's fair. I'm studying German and like getting the getting like uh how words sound right is kind of a thing for me. I, I get really obsessed about it. It's just like, am I screwing up his name? Are, are we gonna have that talk after the show? <laughs> I mean, like, kind of, but also not really. Yeah, it's but uh, we are talking that... Modern Horizon two spoilers again. Like, Again. I feel like we just had spoiler season just last week as well. God damn. And every week after this, it's honestly the about the frequency of sets is a little bit concerning. Oh, the, the frequency of sets against my wallet is definitely concerning. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna there practice is way too episode. much magic and not enough time to buy it all up. Oh man, if imagine me in this situation, my uh, in Age of Sigmar, we just got new models and we're getting new models uh, within a few weeks here. It's insane for anybody who plays both uh, games. Yeah, I'm I'm a little concerned about how fast these are coming out the door, but Yeah, it feels like they're they're kind of trying to hit critical mass so they don't have to so they could take a year off and be like, Yeah guys, we just need some time to cool down. It's like, well, we could have done that. <laughs> well that would be great. You know, I... like that would be absolutely fantastic if they did that. Be... Honestly. Yeah, I'm at the point where. Sorry, I just I'm I'm was I'm looking at eBay listings and there's somebody who's selling like three demonic tutors, three uh, Arclight Phoenixes, one two two, two Japanese to fairy uh, hero dominaries, and like a bunch of other shit. Like there's one two. Three, five, five playsets of the Shocklands. I'm like, Ooh. but the only thing, the only caveat is that it's it's Japanese. Mm -hmm. The only two English cards are Passiger the Golden Fang and a Platinum Imperian. Everything else is Japanese. Okay, yeah. And it's from Japan. Um, I mean, I've fought Japanese cards before. They're not bad. They're, like, they're I'm not going to say don't do it, because it's a card to card. Well, I bought the Japanese War this week. That felt really good. 
So I, I don't know. Oh, I yeah. I like I got one out of that sucker. Got completely hooped by uh by the content, that's for sure. Why is this bl- Wow. What the heck? What? Okay, I'm sidetracking for a hard second because there is a mana crypt. A, an original grave packed mana. Like, sorry. What is that? The the first set for for the Sharklands, like guild packed or something. Yeah. There's a signed uh Rob Alexander signed oil blood crypt. Yep. Guess the price tag on the sucker. Uh, close to a black lotus. Not that close. Okay. You, uh. I'll give you a hand. Think dual. Think think dual lands. Originals. Yeah. Uh, something close to a thousand bucks then. And you're Unless I have you're, my. You're price. like a lot high, actually. Yeah. Or, or like more like revised dual. Yeah, those are close to about a thousand bucks each now. Uh, the top end ones. Uh, yeah, actually, the top end ones they are actually good. But like, yeah, I, I'm thinking like the mid range and the low range ones because they they don't actually get as much play as the uh, top end ones. Yeah, revised edition, underground sea, volcanic island, tropical island are all pretty high. Um, I'm just trying but, to see. Okay, this this, I, this damn yeah. thing here. This graveyard of the boil, graveyard, sorry, blood crypt, aka some strange reason, graveyard of blood, Japanese to English mm-hmm. translation. Goddamn. The <laughs> so Rob Alexander signed boil blood crypt is five hundred and forty-one dollars and ninety-seven cents. You said Mana Crypt originally, so I'm just like, uh, what? <laughs> like, God damn. Okay. <laughs> god. Holy crap. Oh my god. God, I should have got in not, on that. I did not even exist and didn't know that this the promo exists. Do, do you know what's hilarious, you honey? On the same uh, realm of the dumb price card, cards that have dumb price stakes to attach to it, there's a PWCS tournament winner promo Liliana the uh, Dreadhorde General. $539.43 with a $20 ship, with a $24 shipping. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Jeez. Like, I was just somebody, looking at somebody just listed a uh, uh, a mono non foil Liliana at four, uh, 454. Good. Like, what the fuck? So, this is. Wow, this is. Wow. Close it on the start and then. Welcome. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Welcome to the land. Oh no! I I was looking at the DME stocks because I was got I got curious and holy crap! Time to go. Um. Uh, no, this is the point where you hold them because um, if margin calls start and they likely are, it is going to friggin' pay off. Let's see. So, yeah. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah. It is rising like a... Like you in the morning. (laughs) I have no better analogy. It's... It went from last week being at an all-time low to... No, I just saw the six-month trend. I'm like, why is this trending upwards? Not even just trending upwards, like that's near spiking levels. 
Yeah, so I would say it's, it's getting close to the uh, to uh, early early year uh, levels because remember it, it 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 peaked at around I want to say four hundred ish um near the beginning of the year and kind oh, of hold on uh take a take a huge grain of salt with this one there bud yeah uh just when you think the GameStop mania has a tip from the past meme stocks came back from the dead with a double digit rally this week enthusiastic po uh, investors piled into speculative assets with near record highs i would not if i'm holding GameStop. GameStop stock and I got in super cheap. I I'm looking for the out. No, no, no. This is not where you want to be. Like I'm saying that as a trader, when I see this starting to pop up, I'm a, I don't think I would would be holding this. Hold it. I would hold it really quickly because. If you bought in at 50, you've got a 4x multiplier. This is a great time to get out. If you're... No. The, no. It, it's, at $50, it, you're already at a 4x multiplier, buddy. The problem with it is that there was already a statement. Um, basically, if you ever, ever, ever want to get behind something... Uh, as flimsy as tarot cards and uh and uh predicting your future with stars go watch elon musk on twitter right. and watch his spec statements on stocks yeah he just he, he he basically manipulated bitcoin by by three twitter posts he he, he made it rise and then he crashed it Oh, yeah, no. And um, then he and then he made it rally again and like the very next post. Like he rallied it, he crashed it, and then rallied it again. Like Yeah. He, he, this is how crazy speculative <laughs> this is why I'm like if you got in at fifty or sub fifty in like early February and you're expecting to ride this up to like to its near three hundred and fifty dollars shot, in back in like early February. No, don't 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 freaking be greedy. Yeah, you you missed out on a two hundred and fifty dollar spike or like mid mid March, but here's a good time to get the heck out because you're at two you're well, at above two hundred dollars. And if you got this at under fifty bucks, I'm a four X multiplier is way more than enough. I would not be. I would be very scared here. I'm gonna have to a deadline to this, um, because Elon Musk made a spec post in his subtle way about June first. So, and it was it was basically more or less directed at uh GME. GME is having a uh, a an investors meeting on June first or something like that. Basically, I would hold it until June first if you're scared, because it can only go up from here. I know. Um, I the only going up from here is a very scary. Well, that's the thing. Like you have to kind of like take it as. It's gonna rise, but then once you hit the June first uh, uh, threshold, pull out if you're not if you're not certain about it because it's going I, to I wouldn't be holding for the next like the next four days. Maybe you're right, but I think I if it, as a I would if this was me and I'm just speculating. I, I'm calling this on the on the on the stance of. Am I in or out on this one? If I had it, I would be out. I said that before. I said that before, and I said it again. If you were in on GME stock when it was dirt cheap, like dirt, dirt cheap, or the second round, which was like sub fifty bucks, your out is now. 
if you are you're buying GM stock at this point, you are very much late. Well, I would I would say you know like because you're again uh, it, the the my threshold for getting out was a double up, and this is already uh, past that. This is already past a double up and going away and gone. This the fact that it's a four x multiplier on on a fifty dollar. If you bought in, it's like fifty dollars or below. Uh, this is already a four x multiplier. Screams to me, get the fuck out. Mm. Yeah. Uh. So we're kind of crashing our own podcast here. Oh no! Everybody's coming back. Everybody's coming back. Anyway. Uh, I don't know what to do. That's 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 <laughs> there's my rant for GME stocks. Take it or leave it. I'm not a financial advisor, I will preface this that, however, but this is just a good this is a person with a very solid intuition based on years of trading magic the gathering cards up for up for better magic. Years of it. So take that what you will. My my shtick is is literally just be careful when you're trying to deal with something like this. I I have a very hesitant have hesitant very things on speculation. Like there is a couple of things that I do keep on speculation, but I think they are slow burners and they are slow and they are they're, they're slow burners and I think there's only good, they are multi format staples, slow burners and very good climbers. That's the thing that I will stick. I don't I don't do the speculative like trying to like roll the dice on a market kind of thing. I don't like that. I hate that. I don't I'm not a fan of it. Because yeah. bet, bet, this is a betting on a wheelhouse kind of thing. And there the fact that the fact of the matter is there is not enough inform for me there is not even enough information to make a make a good make a de- good decision on it, and on ninety five percent of the time you're making a decision based on based on feeling, not on logic, and that scares the crap out of me. Mm. So I think you're, I, I think you're, uh, yeah. I I'm gonna leave it alone for now because it's kind of a. Uh, it, it's kind of distracting away from the content of uh, the video. I mean, yeah. Um, That's of the podcast, but yeah, I, 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 I hear where you're coming from. Um, I mean, we were sidetracked for a while. Yeah, I, I think let's, you're kind let's, of applying uh, historical logic. Let's, to let's bring it. Let's bring it back. Let's yeah. bring it back to the Marun Horizons two spoilers and uh, uh, start off, start us off with some of the newer stuff that we got here today. Uh, for yeah. me, for me, right at the top, mm-hmm. Turok Dread Chanter, one in a black for a two-one legendary creature, human, human cleric with kicker of black, black protection from white. Uh, whenever an opponent discards a card, you put a plus one plus one counter on Turok, and whenever when it enters the battlefield, the kicker cost was paid. Target opponent uh, discards two cards at random that that comes with its own him to Turok. Want to put it up on the screen? Uh, yeah. Give me a second. I I feel like we should do that because it people might want context for the um for what you're talking about. I am trying to make that work. Uh, give me a second. Come on. There we go. I'm like I'm in in a can of soup. Okay, like right. this. Uh, hi, Turok. About time you showed up. I didn't know they do that. <laughs> so for but all our the, visual viewers, the funny viewers, thing is, is like so... we've already got a suite of like discard spells or, or a suite of uh, discard based commander decks. And now we get yeah, Turok, like which just adds fuel to the fire at this point. 
Like, I miss Nicol Bolas. It doesn't. It to me this as a as a normal creature, this is boring. But like you know what, a, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. Um. So is that black black for the kicker, and then one and a black for regular? So one okay. black 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 black, or sorry, one black black black. To get a, to get a uh, so... think of it as this: it's one, it's four mana, three of it black. Protection from white. Tons down. Target opponent play, discards two cards, so you put two counters on this thing. So you get a 4 3. You get a 4 mana 4 3 pro white. And an opponent has to discard two cards at random. So I'm just checking out the dual lotus uh, rulings here. There's nothing stated about paying the alternative cost for your commander. Right. Well, so, it's, a part of the, it's part of your commander, I believe. So, yeah, that's... I mean, slap down a swamp and a dual lotus, pay the kicker on this guy, and start running right, away with the game. No, 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 because kicker... I realize kicker is a part... Like, Kicker in this case is additional to this costing cost, so that's just it's just an add-on effect. I think of that. I think that works. You could turn one a Turok with it. Yeah, and the way that he's printed, it says whenever an opponent discards a card. So yeah, so basically, then... you land Turok, ETB trigger, kicker to paid. Yeah, you get a four. You get a four mana four three to rock, with pro white and and an opponent having to discard. With the god hand on turn one, that's basically no, I a much four of a mana hand. four. No, it's like two cards that you need, and one of them are pretty pretty basic to your deck, anyways. But it's basically a turn one four three, and your opponent and an opponent is down two cards. Yeah. That's a my, my buddy's haunt to fight tower deck gets another gets another piece of the co- piece of the card. The puzzle here. Yeah, I would I would argue that you could probably run one or the other as a commander, Doesn't matter. and the other one in your deck. Yeah, like it. Uh, yeah, they're interchangeable at this point. I would probably go for the four mana four three. Uh, that. I'm a little Basically, more about the Haunt of Hightower in this case, because it's like... It's a... It's, yeah, it's, it's a 6 mana flying lifelinker, but it's just like, that thing grows. Period. Oh, yeah. It, I think Haunt of Hightower has a lot more speed in terms of late-game late, late uh, threat, but... Just I would percent. say... Yeah. I would say Torok is a good budget option for people who maybe can't fill a super efficient haunt. Uh, I I don't want to... I'm going to go breeze like a couple of these cards that are... that I find pretty interesting. Um, Imperial Quitter, welcome back. Thank God you're not stupid expensive anymore. Um, Mm -hmm. The First Silver, welcome back. Good to see you. Not really. Ah, uh, Soul Harder, FM8, welcome back. Not good to see you. <laughs> um, going down the list, shenanigans get the. F- ah, <laughs> uh, Trivivage, welcome back. That's good to see you. Ah, uh, Eula, welcome back. Good to see you. I right, actually here's here's one. Here's one. Here's one, uh, here's one that catches my eye. Sword of Heath and Home and Void Mirror. More like more of like Sword of Bra Go. Uh it's okay, it's not as bad. It the my positioning on this card is kind of uh it's not a it's a slightly worse slight a, a slightly different um Uh, it's a staple for Baco. No, 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 I'm thinking of a different sword. Sword of the Animist. 
So what it's sort mean? of the Animus plus uh, sort of Ephemerate? Yeah, that's basically why you would run it in Brago. It ramps you and it gives you an additional trigger, right? Yeah. So it's, like I said, it's sort of Brago. Okay. Well, it's, I think it's yeah. alright. I think it's alright. And then Void Mirror. Holy crap. Hello. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think it's a really good sword for Brago. And in any other deck, it's yeah, pretty true. deep. But the thing is, just if you're attaching this to Brago, it feels it feels kind of redundant. Yes and no. It's a ramp, but it's also guaranteed protection for your commander. Oh right, because you I could actually people... stack. You could stack it where it's like you could blink something, and then blink something again. Oh yeah. Excuse me. So it's, it's honestly really good for what it is. <laughs> um, in Brago, it just it does things, and those are going to be really, really, uh, um, what's the word? It's going to be really, really, uh, scary for your opponents what it, this can do in a Brago deck. Did I talk about, did I talk about Sarah's Emissary last week? I feel like I did. We might have touched about upon it briefly, but yeah. let's go over it again because this is a stupidly nuts card. Uh, four mana, two, four, seven mana, seven, seven flyer. Here, let me pull, pull it up. Seven mana, seven, seven flyer. Creature type, angel. Uh, when it comes to the battlefield, choose a creature type. You and creatures you control have protection from the chosen card type. Yeah. What the f? That's nuts. That's really nuts. I it's... mean, like Caliadex just got a lot better. Thanks, yeah, thanks. And even though they like lost Iona, but that's not even the worst problem. Yeah. Um. This is also one of those situations where if you're running in like mono white or something, you've effectively protected yourself from board wipes. Um, for the most part. I mean, here, like, a th here's the funny thing. I think this guy said it best. Imagine if you cast Rite of Replication on Sarah's Emissary with the chosen creature type instant, then create five copies with the chosen creature type. Sorcery, artifact, planeswalker, creature, and land. Yeah. Like, just imagine it... that have somebody doing that, and they're like, I have protection from everything. I, I love this Chris Siegel guy who's just like really boring and lazy for nature. It's like, um, first and foremost, <laughs> you you might want to learn uh, how many mana symbols are there. Secondly, this is actually pretty insane. Um, like you were saying, right of replication, it suddenly your entire board has protection from everything. The thing, the thing is, is uh, a, a specific board, like board wides don't count in this case, because board wides don't have target. They, they don't target. They're still susceptible to a board wipe, but like this plus and like an Avison is just backbreak. No, because it's it's um from from each object the player controls. It would be, from my understanding, or yeah, it's targeted. Okay, yeah. Because I was it, thinking, it's only targeted. You could say that you're fine. You're fine. It's that you're fine again. Yeah, I was thinking it could be like you have protection from sorceries. Suddenly, sorceries can't touch you. But um, I yeah. mean, they can. But the but fact like, of the matter is, is like that you can you basically can blank out a full on card type. Yeah. Barring, like, board wipes, basically. <clears throat> uh, I'm assuming you have a card that you have in mind right now, because I've talked about, like, 37 cards already. Um, I have a few. I, uh, 
one thing I'm looking at is Out of Time. Again, another really good Brago card. Uh, it's it's right, up, 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 up. Oh, there it is. Yeah, no. yeah. yeah. Um, but it's a really good card for Brago because it ETBs. You want to have all creatures, phase them out, and then basically, I would think you could um, phase out Brago or somehow remove him before the triggers. Um, one thing I'm thinking is you Yorion your own board. No, you, you need to flash Yorion. Well, you wouldn't even need to flash Yorion. You just go Yorion, play this, and then at the end step, your stuff comes back and suddenly your opponents have nothing, right? Yeah. Um, but the fact that it has vanishing um, makes it funny because you could just be like, pull Brago back, wing it again, <laughs> flicker it. And yeah, it's a, it's a weird haymaker kind of thing. Yeah, no, this this is basically parallax wave except um It's a yeah. better it's a better parallax wave, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I I like it for what it is. Um because they stay Oh phased wait, out I was just like phase. why it's why does this thing only have vanishing? But I realize how that how it works. <laughs> yeah. That's so gross. with Brago it's basically permanently phase out everything. We're not when Brago connects. That's my understanding of it. Is so, you know, that's 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 nuts to me. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah. See Brago's getting a lot of new quotes. Everybody be scared. Um Break Ties is basically White's answer to return to nature, which I'm fine with. I think um, if I'll give you a second to go find it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the white return to nature with an extra. Yeah, I sure. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm. I'm not. I like. I'm not mad about it. I'm not crazy over it though. Yeah, I'm. I like it. It's cool. I think uh, White needed something like this, and kind of, you know, not having it was... I, I, I don't think White's made better or worse for it, is my point. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a car that we... that should exist, but, you know. Um, so, do we want to talk about that new Planeswalker? Mm, let me see if I can find it. It's, I know it's the hungry oh, tide. Yeah. Okay. Or um. I I most... I remember you talking about this yesterday, like a couple days ago, or was it? Yeah, it was a couple days. Was it yesterday or just a couple days? Ago? But I think so. Yeah. Apparently, there's going to be yeah. some sort of rule change that makes this basically a commander. Oh, it, 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 they've already announced that it does work the way it does, but they want a rules change just the same. Um, so we're going to probably see a rules change, but for now, the uh, rule of thumb is it works as a commander just because it works as a commander. I'm just, I'm like, okay, that's cool, I guess. As long as this thing isn't a battlefield. What happens when the insect dies? This is just dead, right? Well, it counts as a creature anywhere that isn't the battlefield. So, that's weird. I, I'm... So if it's not on the battlefield, it's a one-one insect when it, with additional to its other type. Yeah, it counts as a creature everywhere except for the battlefield. 
It are does, you frustrated I, yet? I just don't know how to feel about it. Just being able to start off the game with a 1-1 one -one insect, like, for free. You didn't do anything, you just started playing the game. Um, it's that. It's also the fact that it's basically a, uh, it can be a commander. Yeah, that's what I'm really kind of worried about. Is the fact that you have a three mana planeswalker in the commander slot? Like it's it's in yeah, black green, that's... which is like okay, that's par for the course. But I'm just like eh. none of none of this is normal for. And that is like the uh... one thing is just like you make this thing basically insect tribal, like the the to really benefit off the plus one. I don't know, man. It's it really is a weird card. Um, I'm kind of simultaneously frust frustrated by it, but also impressed that they managed to do something like this. Like it's um, no, nah, it's it it is kind of impressive, but it's just like I don't know how to. Feel. It really is a mixed bag, and it kind of feels like we should be upset about it, but at the same time, it's like, it, anybody who wanted to have a Planeswalker that wasn't stated as legendary uh, and can be used as your commander, yeah. I, now I, you got a Planeswalker. I just don't know how I feel about this. It's honestly going to my home gag deck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. I think it could spill. Like, I... Uh, oh, good. Seth, uh, aka Safranala, touched on a Garth one eye on on one of his video on the on a video. Uh, being able to use this plus um Dead Eye Navigator plus some sort of haste effect to go infinite. Oh, nice. So basically, you case uh, this you put all three on the battlefield. Tap Gareth, uh, choose Black Lotus, play Black Lotus, crack Black Lotus for three blue, uh, flicker, actually, sorry, um, my brain's dead, Wade, holy, <laughs> you, the soul bond interaction, god damn it, wow. Then you flicker Garth, Garth one eye, comes back on tapped. You, you tap it again. You name Black Lotus because it's a new in, new instance of the card, and that doesn't that doesn't see the old Black Lotus. You cast the Black Lotus again. Crack. You crack it for a different color. So now you have two of the different color and one blue, or you have three of the different color and one blue. You flicker it again. So now you're up of like you've got infinite mana. Literal infinite mana. Uh, I guess there's a new spoiler out. Discerning taste. Yeah. I. 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 I Saffron all have touched on this. I'm. Yeah. I, I've seen it. Like I've seen it already, and I got a couple of days to mull it over, and I'm like, eh, okay. I. I could see it. Um, one card I really want to touch up, and just two cards I kind of want to touch on, and I find kind of a meme in this case is uh this this text top <laughs> what the f singular f Okay, thank card. you. Um, thank goodness for the comment section, because my god, I could not pronounce that. Pronounce the gauge, each, read each line. As Moran, Mordar, Dak, Kai's, in, not, <sighs> I'm calling this Tina, I don't care if it's wrong. <laughs> this, <laughs> wizard's, why? Um, I I get it if this was a joke set, 
I would be laughing a little bit, but this thing in a, in a Modern Horizon set, what the heck? Um, on Twitter. I guess this was a thing that she was pestering Withers about. Um, My brain hurts. Yeah, trying to it's... figure out the name of this card. Who was on the naming convention when this was a... Who, who thought that this was a good idea? Who? <laughs> I... <laughs> This is literal bruh. Also, rules update on this card. You cannot name it with medley mage unless you are able to pronounce it correctly. So, you know, I'm done. that's the thing. I'm done. I know. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Screw this, guys. I'm going home. I'm um, so ready. Having to play against this with a uh, piping needle. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. I. This is. I didn't think I was going to be so upset, like, so upset about this, but by gosh, dude, this is obnoxious. This is definitely a card meant to piss you off. Um, it, through name alone. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm not happy. I'm not angry. I'm laughing at how utterly memeable this entire card what? is. That... My brain hurts trying to figure out what the heck is this card doing and why it. There. The fact of the matter is, it's one mana, and you basically play it in fu anti fucking Falcon Wrath. And a story. Yeah. For forget everything yeah. else. It's just uh, it's anti Falcon Wrath's freaking pet project. It was Angie's uh, Angie Falcon Wrath uh, chef. What that's that's. That's my that's my uh, head lore. That's my head cannon. That's this is your Anya's head cannon. That's what you're gonna stick with. Or, or the... Yeah, this is this is her chef, her personal chef. She intentionally hired this chef just to annoy her guests. God, the name was just um, driving me mad. I can't. I no. let let. Let's move on before you have an aneurysm. Um, I, I, I'm just gonna breeze. I'm just gonna breeze some cards that I just I that I saw on this list, and I'm just like, kind of, okay, that's okay. I get you. I got you. Let's, uh, let's chef's move kiss. The lion. Oh, chef's kiss. Yeah. Oh, right. Nah, nah bro. I had gas in the mix. Ooh. That's fine. Um, Chef's Kiss is, yeah. The Vaz, the Glamour yeah. Wasp, yeah. Why yeah. did it have. Oh, it only hits artifacts you can. So go down. Ch Chatterstorm? I see you. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I see you. Wall Show Shiny. Uh, chance encounter, I see you. There's a Let's bunch of down. these. There's like, I I'm going up because there's there's, burning command, I see you. I guess today's bullets would. Uh, so there's a go Gary guy there. Click on him. Hold um. That, all right. I see you, Vernon Command. I see you. What was it you were looking at? Uh, this one. Uh, go back. Right there. I... Um, up there. Yep. Hmm. 
When cards the line enter the battlefield or planeswalker you control dies, look at the top seven cards of your library, you may reveal a planeswalker card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Uh, planeswalker loyalty abilities you activate cost an additional plus one to activate. This is two, a blue and a green for legendary human warrior, three, five. Um, a blue? Uh, two blue green. I mean, black green, sorry. Yeah, I was like, wait a blue minute. Isn't it, are, are you sure you're getting the stat line correct? Yeah. The four mana. Yeah, yeah, no, my bad. Four mana, top seven, rip a, rip a planeswalker. And planeswalkers are always to be, well, the abilities. Get a plus one, <laughs> get a plus one to, to their activation. So if you have a plaguing walker that's plus two, it, plus it gets three. an additional plus one. Yeah. And this is a cost for activating its own ability. Yeah. yeah. I realized really quickly that a lot of the planeswalkers that you would have like a, like a minus one or like a zero, all of a sudden have a plus one or a zero. Yeah. So a like, minus one. So, like, if you throw in, um, Kiora, the, the, uh, War of the Spark Kiora, that's a zero. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This guy in a, in a Super Friends deck He's is... He's not going into my Super Friends deck. As, as... Maybe somebody else who has a Super Friends deck, then yeah, maybe sure, but, like, the way that I have my Super Friends deck built out, no. It's not good. No, but in general, I mean, is he him and his super friend deck is gonna be a uh, kill on fight for everybody I, else? Yeah, like you're right. However, I just don't see that being the case, considering the fact like you that's boldly assuming that there isn't any other threat on the board. It it, it feels like threat priority is high, but there might be other problems. Yeah, you're not wrong, but like this is this is one of those situations where it depends upon the threat priority. You're right, um, because if he's he's a he's basically a loaded gun. Yeah, there's a potential a to load- get out of hand with that card. I I'm not I'm going to address it right there, and I understand that, but it's just like to me. Yeah. Oh, we got a new cycle of artifact lands. Yeah. I just realized so, that. Holy crap. Yeah, they're all going in. Uh, the Demir one's going in my uh, Rona deck. I, uh, I love that deck. Um, this guy's basically check out oh, gun. If the gun jumped oh. off the mantelpiece and started shooting, shooting the gas. That's basically it. Yeah. <laughs> Is he just jumps on the battle piece and goes blam? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I that's nuts that they print something like that. Uh, new cycle of artifact on. I'm happy they printed these. Um, and they're indestructible at that. Jesus. So the couple other things I wanted to put in to spend. Yeah. That's cool. I'm sorry. I I don't know what anybody else says. That's a that's a one mana blue. That's a one mana blue exile effect. Yeah. I think that's gas, dude. Because I could cut I could cut something else for it to spend now. Um, oh, wait, wait. M- Mystic Redaction. It looks pretty good, except uh, it's when you discard a card. Okay. So it's not amazing, but you know, hey, welcome to the uh welcome to the family of uh things that mill mill opponents. Um so... discerning taste is again on the same borderline of whatever the f- of Tina. Here's I'll a call here's a nice little callback. Uh Tormod Crypt Keeper. Welcome back uh, 
<laughs> What's up, Tormod's Crypt? On a stick. Wait, is that a head of? Oh, that's young. That's it. So weird. Okay, I'm gonna move on from that one. Um, not not the Tormod's Crypt Keeper. What I was looking at. Uh. Necromancer's is familiar. Can I start my Crow Tribal deck already? Dolan Bombardment, welcome back. Um, There's like a lot of stuff that's like in Japanese that I haven't actually seen before, so I'm actually I'm just gonna have to go through it really quickly. Oh, okay, Necromancer's familiar. Ooh, ooh, what this? Chris familiar. Okay. Wait, wh what? Hello. Five mana, three two. Three two flyer. Discard a card, add black. I'm familiar, yeah, that's uh. Hello, madness. Yeah. This is. So this is basically regeneration on a stick. Or I mean not regeneration. This is basically regeneration with a madness cost. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Yeah. Yeah. I, okay. I can I I would like to address the little, the whole squirrels thing really quickly cuz like okay. it's cute. I get it. And I understand that they're making, but you can actually get a commander deck out of, out of this. But please, for the love of God, if you are planning to build this deck and you're and you went deep in speculation into some of the stuff that is harder to find, or like the reserve list squirrel cards or squirrel based cards, why? Oh, we have a legendary ooze now. Wait, what? Mm. Hold on, mm. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Storm? Oh yeah, it's it's stupid. You thought squirrel squirrel storm was nuts? This is this is a card that. Yeah, yeah. Pun fully intended. <laughs> Ave is, is not legendary if it's a token. It yeah. enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter for each other ooze you control. Wait, what? So you could just yeah. storm. Play this out. And, and then, then yeah. you could just have a crap ton of these little Ave dudes. But they come in with a plus one, plus one counter for each other ooze you control. What the? My brain freaking. Why is this a storm payoff? That's weird. Ah, uh, yes, the return of the juggernaut. Oh, that's, that's cute. Like... It was Steel Camel. Like, yeah. some of this is, like, uh, some of this is actually, <laughs> like, actual filler. Uh, I, versus, I'll, I'll touch on Void Winner, Mirror first. That, uh, my fr a friend of, uh, a, a TikTok person has, uh, touched on this one a little bit. And I'm a little sad to see that come together. But, um, well, ha happy to see you, Bottle Gnomes. It's good to see you. Um, late to dinner. That's interesting. Recursion in white. Uh, rise and shine. Put a target non artifact creature becomes a zero zero artifact creature. Then you get plus one plus one counter with an overload. So artifacts <laughs> get get shenanigans. Um. 
If you've already touched on Wonder, Lucid Dreams is whatever, in my opinion. Fractured Sanity is a cycling card. Sure. Drug. Fairy Seer, Squirrel Sanctuary, Prismatic Ending. Ah, uh, here's a nice little reprint. All of Heliod's Generosity. But we all we were all hoping for this in the comeback, and then look at that, it has. Um, I would like to touch on what well, this will be my last card. Is Void Mirror to you could uh, to a color, two of any color for an artifact. Whenever a player casts a spell of no colored mana, was spent to cast a counter. Yep. <clears throat> this is a uh, this is a card. It is a Tron Shitter. Yeah, this is how you counter Tron. Slap this boy down. Tron stops working. Tron needs to play a color. They do play color from what I understand, but it's like it's such a rarity for them to do it. It's a sideboard thing for them. Yeah. It's a good sideboard card for them. Um yeah, so this sucks down Tron. It um it makes colorless decks basically no <laughs> yeah, you get you really get the shit on a colorless. <laughs> it makes colorless artifacts absolutely. Uh, I I think even uh, it, even if you just get to in commander, you, you get the one person playing. I think this is gonna be going into four color hate bears if I ever build that deck. Yeah, it's well. Yeah, cause it, it's enough. It, it's enough. It kills uh force of will. Worst, worst comes to worst. Yeah, exactly. Like, you get the shit on a... Like, you get the shit on a Force of Will. Force of Will, Force of Negation. Uh, God, those... Uh, zero cost for your commander being out uh, spells from Commander a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. um, or last year. Yeah, the free spells. It fits on your Moxin, your Crypt. Um, is it any player, or is it just your opponents? Wait, wait, wait. Whenever a player casts, yeah, it, it uh, obliterates. Yeah. But I think the problem is with the Moxin and whatnot is by the time this comes down, it's already too late. That's the thing with the Moxin. What if you earlier? Like no, Ma Moxin, Mana Crypts, Chrome Mox. In that sense, I think it's too late because by the time you get the uh, void mirror down, it's like you're not. Gonna... <laughs> but I, I think I, I might test this thing out in, uh, in my Brea artifact ED, uh, artifact soon. It's an artifact, so yeah. worst comes the worst. I just yeah. sack it. Um. Oh, mostly... this shits on um. This shits on dramatic scepter. Yep. Press it right down. Huh. Like, um, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop Th uh, Thassa's Oracle combo. But hey, it's, you get the shit on a dramatic scepter for a turn. That's good. This also stops the Underworld Breach combo. Uh, Underworld Breach, Rain Freeze, Lotus Petal combo. So, well, yeah, it's for some of Lotus Petal. Um, you're right. Um. But it doesn't shut down anything that requires a color mana. But yeah, I get I get where you come from. It shuts down lines by diamond combos, and that's already enough for uh, yeah. me. Yeah. All honest. right, that's that's enough for me to put in in my comp deck. Yeah, this is if to you're in competitive. Everything. If you're in competitive commander, this thing will absolutely uh, pay for itself. Yeah. I could honestly. Uh, the fact of the matter yeah. is if that this thing just sits there, does kind of nothing, and you get the shit on people. On the fact that even even better, it's a two mana mana rock for uh, for Urza. Yeah. Excuse, it... excuse me while I go pick up my Urza. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. It doesn't even uh, say that. Tap or untap, so it does kind of get in your way with Urza. 
Um, it's already at eight bucks for the for the extended border version. Um, yeah. That says to me, like it's already six bucks for the normal version. That says to me that it's going to be um, at least a twenty dollar card on release. It's for it's for six bucks. Just that good. Yeah, it's already like six or seven bucks. Well, we'll see. Oh, uh, we still have some time. We have a lot of time here to uh, think about what we're gonna do with it. I, I think. Yeah, what's, what's the pre-ordering? It's thing? pre-order price is pretty cheap, but I don't know. If, I don't think this is. A, it'll spike the twenty on release, but then I think it might drive back down. I think people are gonna drive it back down. Which is fine. Also, the the yeah. art's pretty dope. Paul, Colin Boyer did a really good job. Actually, can I? Oh, I Kev Walker. Kev Walker's uh, bottle gnomes. Oh. Um, but yeah, that is that all the cards that we want to talk about? Um, I think those are the ones that really interest me right now. Um, I'm gonna have to wait and see uh for the rest of the spoiler season because there's like 300 cards in this. Holy crap! 303. Um, and we have yeah, gotten about through. a third of the way. Yeah, roughly that. I would, yeah, like I said, it's, um, I think maybe in a couple of weeks you come back to it and touch on it again because it's one of those things where, from what we've seen so far, it's looking like a strong set. Um, in terms of actually, can I spec on it right now for what it's going to sell no, for? I'm gonna say no, it's gonna no, do... no, 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 no. If we're going to yeah, start yeah. talking speculation, I'll, I'll want to do this after the set releases. Because uh, I, have, I, have I have some thoughts on this. I w- I... Well, I, I would argue that you can kind of spec before the set releases as long as you have a good idea of what's coming. But yeah, for the most part, right now, it's kind of wait and see. Because um like these could be the bulk of uh value that we're gonna see and for all we know uh everything that we've touched upon right now is the best we're gonna get um that said i don't think that's really a condemnation i think that's kind of like like the, the bar has been set high with this set oh yeah definitely like I honestly, I think this Modern Horizon says it's gonna be good no matter what happens here. But it's just like at the same time, you have to you have to take in with a grain of salt of like there's some cards in here that are uttered like I, in my opinion utter jokes. But it is. What I, it well, is. you're 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 always gonna have the chaff though in the set. Like I think that's kind of uh, a given. Um, but yeah, it's, I would say for now, all this is looking pretty good. Um, that, that Rakdos commander absolutely ruined your day, I think. (laughs) Fucking hate. Just, you know what? Her name is Tina. (laughs) Um... Yeah, what what a card just to have that kind of name. Um, I hate it. I I I just don't like. I, it's not the card itself is not the problem in my opinion. It's not the card itself. It's not the anything else. It's literally just like this. This Angraf. Uh quote well, is basically you. I it's hate literally uh, Angrath. Uh, it's literally just Andy Falkenrath. Oh. No, no, no. Angrath, uh, Angrath, the uh, Minotaur Pirate, he had a quote in War of the Spark. I hate this plane. I hate the city. And I wish you all a visibly painful death. <laughs> His body glowed a warm and vivid orange and called out, you never pathetic fools if you plane to walk away. <laughs> this, is, this is basically you right now with this new Rakdos Commander. I hate this card, I hate this set, and I wish you all <laughs> would burn your decks. <laughs> you guys never. <laughs> um, yeah, no, this 
this is a card that really I get the context sort of <laughs> oh god the memes are already happening yeah uh, this is just this is gonna be cancerous. This is gonna be Hogak level Hogak levels of cancer. I don't think it's that that bad. Like we had Hogak summoning. I wait the, until somebody breaks. I don't think we're gonna get Hogak summer again. I don't think so. I don't see a card. I don't see a card that we're gonna get a, a ho that we're gonna be screaming Hogak summer again. Like it's it's not. a good, it's hope... gonna be a good set. I could feel it. I just, but at the same time, I'm just like, come on, like really. That's kind of cute. Um, yeah, it's. I gotta wait and see. I think Grist has. Grist follows me because I know the intent for that guy. And it just kind of, it bothers me because it's like, guy, like, we know what you guys were planning with this. It's the fact that you are trying to be coy about it. Yeah. So it's, it's weird to me. It's like, and like Karth is, a, yeah, it feels like, you're meant to play Grist as your commander and Karth as your as part of the ninety nine. And it's like, well Yeah, but guys. So that's that's just my view on it. It's just like Grist is meant to be commander, Karth is a ninety nine, and you're just sitting there and going, Well, Oh god, you can hit animate you can hit Gris with Animate Dead. Yeah. And Living Death. Yep. Oh god, this is such a uh, Just like you hate the Rakdos Commander for its name, I hate Gris for his everything. I mean Yeah. They're it's really just, they're really like, pushing the power on these cards. Yeah. Like, I know the intent is for it to be, like, modern, but you can't tell me they didn't have Commander in mind when they were designing these cards. Yeah. I just, I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, I just, the set is a mixed bag for me in terms of, uh, in terms of, like, design. Like, it's a really strong set. It's a good set, and I'll probably crack a few packs, but in terms of, like, design... There are cards that I wish they just didn't. You know, and, I'm just like, bro. And Grist is at the top of that list for me. It's just like, I get what you're going for, but could you not? Um, damn it, I'm going to jump off that because this, I could go all day about that and it's not a good subject for me to hold on to uh june 18th is when the set releases um the rumor mill says as we get needles in arms uh restriction is going to lift so there's a likelihood that there's going to be a lot of pre-releases going yeah i don't um, i don't know Maybe the yeah, U.S. It's... Maybe the U.S. Sure, but like in Canada, where from where we're at, no, I don't. It's feasible, but it's yeah, it feels like it's a, still a bit of a of a ways off. Um, I think that's about the bulk of it. I would say keep an eye on the set. It's looking good. Um. Not much else. Yeah, like we're probably gonna talk about this for next a cut, next a couple, next a couple of weeks. So, I would say I want to hold off on talking about a little bit more for another couple of weeks, um, unless something big comes up. Uh, 
Yeah. But I definitely want to um touch upon it again uh sometime soon here. Uh oh, there we go. See, that's just a quick little deck from now on. Um I should just bookmark it to be honest. I might actually like all right. The the I know I know I said I would leave leave this to the end, but apparently you have an announcement that I really have not. You wanted to talk I'm about like, so we could just throw it in right now. I feel like we can start wrapping things up here. When did it get up to six hundred and nine kilobytes? Jesus. What? Uh do we got anything else we want to touch on? I played an EDH game last night till two in the morning. Yeah, that was... How was that? <laughs> um, I came in second. Hmm. I don't know. Was it CDH? No, it wasn't comp. I wish it was comp. I wish it was comp. But, uh, no, it wasn't comp. That 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 spells bad news for the for the group. <laughs> I mean, okay, I, I got tough. I got beat up by a deck that was literally just like five mana dumb, five overcosted things that are with, with terrible stat line. Well then, but it, um, yeah. but hey, that's that's what happens when somebody plays um. Fucking, fucking vile smasher. Oh, that's what you wanted. Yeah, I don't know if we want to hit that now and just kind of like cap off with that, or no, we're, we've we're got capping off of this. We're we're literally capping off the episode. Yeah. With this. so go nuts. Uh ladies and gentlemen, I decided that also you think you gave me the um you gave me the us uh amazon <laughs> not the canadian i amazon. i know that's you know what y you can see it in canadian uh i decided that um due to this link because it's got to be like another at least 300 pages of content just to, just to round it off i didn't want to print a 400 or a 600 page uh novel on my first outing i guess technically second outing um so my book esper uh is up on amazon um for the kindle uh so it's an ebook right now um nice. yeah i decided the first two arcs are just going up i'm gonna start I'm not start, but like I'm gonna come on, big suits. Sorry about that. Um, I but yeah, I decided I was just gonna work on the third and fourth arc, and then maybe take a little bit of a break after those two are done. My my intended um my intended goal for at least the end of this year was to have the first book done. Um arc three and four are kinda of like not really done, but I also don't want to um overwhelm people with just like six hundred pages of stuff and it's just like yeah. This is a um, lot. Holy moly. Like, I'm just going through the sample alone, and, like, it. Go I think it only hits the first chapter. Yeah, I... Well, it came out something like close to two to three thousand words. Uh, in my estimation, so it was just like, I started going, and I didn't oh, no. know where to stop. It, it, that chapter cuts off. It starts with chapter two. Oh. If I get all the way to house chapter two. I'm just I I'm scrolling for kind of quickly to see if it. Oh no, it cut me off at the end of chapter two, but near like in the middle of chapter two. See? It's, I mean that's a good point where it's just like, you know, if people want to. I would love to see. I would love to hear this as an audiobook. 
I'm hoping that the uh, I hate I hate to bring that idea up with you, but like, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, text to speech is actually enabled. Okay. So um, if I buy the book, I technically get a free audio book attached to it. All right, this this is uh, this is going on my way. Yeah, so yeah. it's one of those, um, it's one of those things where it. I'm hoping that the uh, contents is are not upsetting for people, but also not like so boring that people are like, oh, well, I just spent five, like five bucks on this, and I regret my decision immediately. <laughs> um, yeah, I it's it's but, good. I I like it. I personally like it, but it's just like again, I'm just trying to figure out. You know, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of things that I need to figure out first. Yeah, so it's uh, I was hosting it on uh Wattpad, but like at this point, I'm confident enough in my writing that I'd rather just jump to self-publishing. Um. Yeah, do what you gotta do, man. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Um. With that said, I was in the works of getting a paperback version done up, but that's kind of uh, hit a snag. Amazon paperback printing is an absolute joke, and I like just getting the ebook cover going was enough of a struggle. Yeah. All right. Oh, so, I think we can call that a show. Cause yeah, damn, uh, late. I'm, I'm a little bit on the sleepier side of things. Don't mind me. Yeah, no, it's sight. Um. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to call it here. Um, you can find me Ninja Bobcat One here on Twitch. Um. Just trying to figure out, uh, like I like we linked um, on Amazon there, Esper uh, book one, Lost of Innocence, on uh, Amazon. Um, I'm usually Ninja Bob Cat one, Ninja Bob Cat on uh, here on uh, Discord and Twitter. Uh, go ahead. Uh, you can find me on the socials as uh, at Red Phoenix Cast, except for Facebook, because I don't have that yet at all. Um, you could also find me here on, on Twitch, maybe later today. Um, I, I do want to get some food in me first before I start streaming, because uh, I'm starving. I have not had breakfast. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was that's it. That's the show. Yep. Yeah. Have a good one. Uh, live stream. I'm gonna send you guys over to someone. I'm tired. I do want to get some breakfast in before I start streaming some EP. Uh, today is gonna be. Uh, today's gonna be kind of a grindy, slow day. So, you guys are gonna turn in for Elite Dangerous. I think I'm gonna take about an hour, maybe a two hour break to uh, get food. I'm hungry. Anyways, uh, yeah, let me find somebody. Let me let me find you somebody to host you guys over, like raid you guys over to. I just need to do this really fast. I'm just my brain's off. Send them to, Castle? Send them to Moist Critical. Um, Why would I do that? Hmm. No, because he he actually has. Is he on contact. right? Is he yeah. even on right now? No, no, no. He's he's off. No, he, right no. Then why the why the hell would I send you guys over to Moist Critical when I when he's not even live? There's no point. I don't know. Um, uh, I'm yeah. I'm gonna run this raid. I'm, I'm gonna run a raid and I'm gonna figure out something to raid. Uh, I also wish. Pay... Sorry, I kind of wish. Pay... Yeah, no problem. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll send you guys to Emulator Penguin, and then you guys can go. Uh, raid. Raid channel. Emulator Penguin. Start the raid. All right. 
I'm I'm gonna take off for a bit and get food. Okay. Later.